All right, guys and gals, today I'm going to be installing my Ryko Street Legal uh, kit. I'm going to be going to Utah, Colorado this summer, and to keep from having a trailer in Utah um, in Moab, uh, Street Legal is required. So, you can see here, I got my plate in, my Idaho plate. Um, to ride in Idaho, you also need a plate. Their process is not um, terribly difficult to go through, so went through that process, and it's reciprocal in Utah, so I will be able to ride in Utah because where I live currently, um, it is no way to get a plate for a UTV. So anyway, that's why I'm doing it. So the kit, let's talk about the kit, what it comes with. It comes with amazingly detailed instructions um really um really good instructions probably don't even need this video to help you install this but if you do you know it'll be here uh let's kind of look at these are the three uh right and left these are these run as running lights they run as 60 percent uh running lights and then when you engage the blinker uh, they're 100% blinker lights. Um, cables and power cords and whatnot. The plate, uh, the mount for the license plate that goes in the back. Um, over here in this section, we can put this over here. This is the, uh, the light for the license plate. It has those little butt connectors right there that actually plugs into where uh, the power in the back where some guys put their uh, whip lights they attach them there so if you have that you'll have to uh, do some sort of alternate power way to do this I powered my whip lights uh, differently so those plugs are available for me lots of zip ties to add to your zip tie collection and uh, the horn the Ryko horn with uh, mounting pieces and parts again detailed instruction telling you where to go bolts and stuff um, over here, this is the actual, I think this is the bulk of what you're really paying for. This uh, pretty cool design. This guy would sit uh, like this on your, uh, on your console, your steering column there. And blinker up, blinker down, push the button for horn. Um, just an easy, easy interface. And this guy here, um, it you can unlock it and whenever we get it mounted we'll go through go through that piece and then very well labeled uh bajillions of cables here uh color coded and labeled to match uh, directions in the instructions to where you don't even have to really you can be like me and not be very smart and get this done green to green blue to blue red to red and and um of course there's two reds so you know i'll plug it in wrong but uh, it's labeled as well, so it shouldn't be too terribly difficult. Um, this little fellow here, this is the um, the flasher. Sorry, let's put it on screen. Flasher relay. It will turn off your blinkers if you're old like me and run your blinker and you forget to turn it off. Uh, it will automatically turn it off. I can think of situations where you would want to keep this running possibly longer than that. But um, like if you're waiting at a turn for somebody is dark um you know you got a pretty sharp turn off a trail you wait for the guy behind you to meet up with you but i mean how often is that going to happen so so i think that'd be fine uh more more wiring these are the uh the leds and the little and the grommets to you the rubber grommets to uh that you put in your dash to denote your left and right blinker uh blinking uh more wires this is a um, protector cover for your clamp there that's about it doesn't come with a whole lot of stuff uh, but that's good because um, you don't need a whole lot of stuff to do this uh, probably the bigger um, bulk of the work i would imagine is going to be uh, drilling out and putting these guys in making sure you know if you're ocd making sure they're spaced perfectly and all that kind of fun stuff uh, where they're going to go, but um, we'll start. I'll go ahead and pull the 
console and hood and all that off uh, off video because if you've seen any of my videos i've done it a million times and you have probably done it as well so we'll uh kind of just cut to installing this piece is kind of the first thing you do to kind of prepare to be ready to plug in all your your fun little activities here so let's get going all right so first things first it says to get this guy ready we need to trim the cover that they provide take about it says take about an inch off and then we are going to try to do all this one-handed we're going to install this like so in there with it on then go put this on now i'll show you what it looks like after i get that done all right see i got it on there um one little tidbit your cover here the uh of course your extra as you're screwing it on I'm trying to keep zooming in uh you want to feed that into your cover and so then as you tighten it that'll come up to here so you don't have that extra little piece poking out uh, you can see kind of position where I put mine. Uh, it was kind of uh, tight, so I went ahead and I put underneath here. I don't know if you can even see it, but the, uh, where the wires, there it is right here. I fed that through, uh, super easy to do that, but just to keep that from hanging and um, having slack everywhere. <laughs> we'll edit that little sneeze out of there maybe, uh, if I can figure out how, but, um, and so, you know it works down up flashers flashers off so uh, let's keep going all right next it has you install the flasher relay and the horn harness uh, which is the green green one uh, this one's pretty obvious because it says on there flasher relay install it to a co the corresponding plugs that you have pulled back in your uh, mess right here now i'm uh you know i'm super concerned about all this wiring and how that looks so uh i will clean that up um whenever we get to a more finished part but for now just connecting it to get it working all right so installing the horn i believe the instructions are wanting you to amount mount it to a hole that either i have used here or is behind here so i am going to have to come up with a second uh spot for the horn horn meet side by side um, i mean it could go right there fairly easily as long as I'm not touching, hitting anything, the spacer can still fit. Uh, yeah, that should work. All right, so drilled hole right there. That's very easy. What's not so easy, and you probably should think about this beforehand, is getting your finger back here to be able to get the nut back there to then be able to feed this on. Um, basically it's incredibly easy you jam your finger up in here then you lift it up and you put it you break it at a 90 degree angle and then you use another finger to come in from the front and you jam that end of the nut on it and then you you jam your finger this way and, and it goes right on it's, it's, it's super super easy so um, however y'all want to do it is fine as well but that that is one method to do it and also make sure you have the plastic spacer between there or you get to redo the whole thing um, uh, I've, I've heard so uh, let me get this tightened and we'll keep going all right so if you're following along in your instruction manual here we're on number six here uh, talking about the brake strobe and how you can uh, disable it if you don't want it I'm going to keep it for now, um, see if I like it, and if don't, then we'll come back and deal with it. Uh, and then it talks about how to install a parallel tap and the different things you got to do for that. So let's just dive into it. All right, guys, I have to admit this so far has been the worst part. Let me find my light here again. Getting to the brown wire that, I mean, you can't even really see the dang thing, but trust me, it comes up out of here. There's some uh, 
There's a wire that goes this way, a brown and a blue one on mine, and you have to push back the insulation. Yeah, that pushes back about two millimeters. So then you gotta uh, kind of cut a little bit, slice it back so you can get to it. Um, you know, then you use whatever you can, like I did here, to hold this up so you can, uh, unless you want to take all that crap off, and I'm not doing that, um, to get uh, to where you can use this uh, uh, clamp thing to uh, get on there. Um, you know, maybe I'll have more easier, better ways to do this than I do. I'm sure you do. I hope you do. Um, wasn't too terribly fun, but... Um, once I was able to get enough slack in that brown wire, I was able to get that on and crimp it on, crossing my fingers that it's actually in the little groove in there and actually doing something. Um, got the uh, the butt plug, butt plug. <laughs> that's a fun, uh, whatever they call that, uh, installed in that thing and um, and ran that uh, ran that up uh, that way. Make sure. Um, if you have it plugged in, you route it back before you do it. Again, I'm leaving all this just like this because I have every anticipation that something I do here is not going to be right and I'm going to have to go back. So, let's keep going. Alright, so now that the plug incident is behind us and we'll never speak of that again. Um, installing the little LED, blinker LEDs, I'm trying to... So, from my visual point of view, um, you kind of see those two dots I made. Uh you know, super precise, measured on, uh, with using my eyes and fingers. And so anyway, I'm going to put one here and one over here and it's going to be great. I had saw someone online, uh, pull the cover off and put them here and here, but I really don't want to compromise the semi water resistance ability of that and run the risk of having an issue with that so uh whereas i think it would look cool and be pretty pretty neat um i don't want to introduce something there uh almost out of warranty and that would be all of me so i would rather not do that so i think it's easier to put up here and if for some reason i ever want to get rid of it or do something i can always get one of those plates that go here and dress it up and make it look all pretty so let's get this going Sorry, step one done. Basically, I just uh, kind of shoved it in and used a flathead, small end like this, to uh, basically insert it and rotate it and just kind of push and it uh, and it went in. So not too bad. All right, here you go. End result. Uh, not necessarily the most fun thing in the world. Um, getting this one, of course, is farther away, so you got to reach your arm in, and and it's just more. A, a good bit more difficult. I use heat gun. I use um, spit lube. I used uh, everything I could to get it in there. What I ended up, <laughs> that's funny. Um, what, <laughs> uh, what I ended up doing was um, was pulled this grommet out and I made the hole just a tad bit bigger and was able to then get that through there because I just couldn't. And I was concerned I was going to mess up the, the wires uh, by the LED in the back. So, um, so hopefully I did not. You can saw you can see my finger. Uh, tried with and without gloves. Without gloves, I was able to cut myself better, so I picked that way. And uh, so got that stuff in there. Next. All right, be sure not to do what I did. I caught it before I finished, but um, I plugged this power here that looks similar, has that same uh, plug into the brake. Um, deal instead of using the uh the brake cable that was supposed to go in there for that relay so removing this one and putting this in there all right so now looking at where to place the three running lights slash blinker lights um i have seen some pretty neat ideas online but with this brush guard it kind of takes most of those ideas away so i think i'm just going to go with the standard uh putting them make sure y'all can see it right here three of them there um 
halfway toying with the idea of this thing out the way. Putting one here. I think that would make it more visible from the front. Maybe two there, one there. I don't know if that I'm tied and I'm stuck with this brush guard. Which I don't plan on keeping forever, but I mean, you can always move it. Let me think about it. I'll let y'all know. All right, here's where I'm putting mine. I decided to do it here. Um, three holes. What I did is I took this as, if you measure it, oh, let me see my fingers, basically from that finger to down here, uh, just kind of straight across that way, not counting that up, is five inches. Each one of the lights is one inch. So uh, you come down an uh, inch and a half, another inch and a half, and another inch and a half, and it gives you, you know, of course, you're, you're not gonna be, you'll be a few millimeters off, I'm sure, but it give, it, it spaces it out fairly even. Uh, hopefully, will look good when it's all said and done. And I use my eyes to uh, kind of judge front and back and all that kind of stuff. So let's get it finished. And again, make a note on your instructions here. Uh, when you're running that wire down here to put these in, L is for the driver's side and R is for the passenger side. Uh, I initially was just assuming, you know, right. I'm looking at it from the front, right, but I assumed wrong. So that's why I read the directions. All right, so this was drastically easier than trying to do the little ones on the dash. So, uh, Again, once you get them in, uh, just kind of using the, the heel of your hand, you know, um, they, they want you to orient. You see how they kind of have these lines in them? Orient them all the same. So uh, I guess, you know, uniform look or whatever. So I just put all mine horizontal because most of them were horizontal. So we'll see uh, later if that makes any difference. If I need to move them. It's not terribly difficult to do to move them, but I'm just going to put all mine this way. So let me knock the other side out. And this side is done as well. Now, if it's exactly like the other side, it'll be a miracle, but it is done. All right, bummer, Dad. Bummer, but I uh, looks like I lost some footage. So trying to uh, explain a little bit. I routed from up here through here using a coat hanger at it. If you see how much I took it apart, that's how I left it that way. Um, through here, through here, and back to here, that's the red wire they supply for you. Now, you haven't seen a video yet of me installing all this other stuff for uh, all the other uh, components I added, the whips and everything else, but that's what all this is. And what I did is I also ran some um, extensions for the um, for the whip blinkers. I figured if I'm going to set all this up, do it right the first time. So I have some uh, tubing to put over that to make that look a little better. So the green and red wire come out underneath here. This is where you have to just kind of use your imagination here. This, you can see the kind of comes in here. This is what I filmed and it's all gone, but uh, nothing major. Just undid all this because this was already here. So I unzip tied, I've re -zip tied some of it, ran that uh, yellow and green, yellow and green because it matched the what they had and just happened to be the wiring I had. And then the red, red and black, all the way, all the way, all the way through to here. This is where um, that plugs into the back of your uh, of your light right there. You unplug it, and there's a blue wire. I'll show you on the other side real quick. Um, there's a blue, maybe blue yellow, but it's blue, and you cut it. I cut about two, three inches all the way back, and then you tie that into uh, the red side of that wire, and then I also tied it into the corresponding uh, green wire for the uh, for the whips as well. So uh, in the process of cleaning this side up, now I have some additional tubing 
uh, for this single wire here. This is the black wire. Oh, and also, if you saw, this is the uh, license plate light. It plugs into the, can you see it up there? Yeah, right there, your two plugs that you have in there already, uh, your uh, accessory plugs. It just plugs into there, and then you route. That'll be the last thing I do is install uh, where I'm, I'm going to put that in the license plate. Now, this side, this one is still showing. So you can see, and this is just what I did for test. I haven't soldered anything yet, but making sure it works. So that's the blue yellow. It's the same as on the other side. Pull that back, hook it to your uh, black. Um, it's a zip line, so it has some red on it, but uh, black red. And I'll suggest doing it like this too, doing everything just very minimal, uh, getting connected and then testing. Because for me, one thing I was trying to do and couldn't get it to do was to get the whips to go red when I hit the brake. And then also uh, to do the blinker, it goes, um, I'll show later, um, a yellow orange color. Uh, whenever the uh, blinkers on on each side and then the um, brake lights blink also and I wanted them to go red but uh, my whips R1 Rhino R1 I think is what they are but I have a separate uh, white cable that comes up from the front for the brake connector and I used to have that on the blue wire over here and it w would work fine if I leave that there it doesn't and these just go kind of the amber color and then if i put my left blinker on that far one goes red this one stays amber so then i was like well maybe it matters where i put that white line so i put it further up in case um you know it needed to get that signal first whenever i hit the brake um didn't help i put it behind the the point where i tied in uh, the, the blinker piece and it didn't help so just uh, not sure it's not a big deal for me honestly um, you know if, if the when it breaks if it goes orange I really don't care uh, they know I'm breaking so but uh, I, I tried if y'all have done it with any success with this and a KRX KRX and a Ryko um, kit and your whips let me know what you did. All right, let's finish tidying this up. Closing this up, um, not as pretty as I want it to be, but um, for now, it's gonna be just fine. Back here, show you a bunch of that already. Routing, routing, routing to here. Lots of flex tubing stuff going from here. Still going on that. Over to here. I don't know if y'all can see it. To there. Good enough for right now. So going to finish putting all this crap back together. And then we'll be done. Oh, because I did the front. It's all underneath there you can't see, but it's just zip tying stuff I already showed y'all. Well, I'm done, but it's night. So you're gonna get some of this is with the flashers on. Kind of cool, because they're normally kind of purple and green, and when it fades into that uh, amber color, it fades into that. Uh, the front, um, you can see the blinker light slowly blinking there. And let's go back here to the rear. Rear, you can see flashing. Uh, oh, it only goes for so long, then it stops. Cool. Well, and you see, I did not finish the license plate thing because it's dark, and I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet. So the timer works. It has a uh, two and a half minute or so timer, I think. So again, left blinker. The LED light works. In the back, you see it go and alternate between the color I have it set to, and then that. And then the, you can see the reflection of the tail light. And same as this guy. 
nighttime's easy because you can look at reflections and whatnot and see everything working just fine. Pleased with it, it definitely uh, wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Mainly, I think, because of my setup and how I have things done and how I had to run things. But um, overall, very pleased with it. Um, I think it looks uh, looks factory, looks very professionally done. And uh, hopefully, I'm not going to add anything electrical for quite a while because I really am tired of pulling out all the part and redoing that every time. It seems like every couple months. So hopefully, I can go maybe six months without having an upgrade. To show uh, where I'm mounting, I use the plate um, spots right there. Pretty much line them up top and bottom. Draw holes through each. I'm gonna try to put that on our, I'm using some spacers and whatnot, so we'll see what that looks like in just a second. All right, so this is the final result, sorta, of where, of, uh, at least where I'm putting it. Uh, one of the bolts I got from the depot didn't work so I had to use one I had and um, kind of cut it to work so I want a stainless on there so I'll replace it uh, you know eventually air quote um, but otherwise I really like the location I'm able to put my bag underneath the camera right here gas can goes there and nothing blocks it I don't have to worry about it and when I say this thing is on there I mean, you see the whole side by side shaking when I do that. It ain't going nowhere. And I like the fact it's behind here. So I'll we'll back into something, unless it's a stick or something, uh, and hit it. And it's very visible from a distance. There's nothing in that bottom left corner where the bar, you see the bar goes over it. I did that on purpose. There's nothing in that corner. Everything's in the right. So, uh, so I put it there. I do, I would suggest looking at your holes a little better than I did because I'm going to have to get some plugs. Uh, I have some, I just don't know where they are. Uh, but I originally just followed the holes that are on here and was like, okay, let me measure here and here and then it'll just fit perfect and, you know, that, that never works. So what I ended up doing was using the hole over here and I, I had to end up drilling out another hole here basically i put this where i wanted it marked it and drew out another hole here and did I, I and then i did the same over here this hole ended up being too far to the left so i moved it over a little bit uh found where i needed here drilled it down well first i did this and found where this the hole needed to be and put that on there so for now i have this little rubber uh piece here because it, it does have a gap there Actually, I'm going to use, I know you guys, you have installed uh, TVs before, and they give you those thousands of freaking uh, black uh, plastic washers. I'm going to cut one of those to fit this, this little gap here perfect and put that on there. So, a use for those things that you normally just throw away. But anyway, it's on there. That's a lot of blah, blah, blah. I've more than anything else on the license plate. But I did spend a good bit of time um, looking where I wanted it and then figuring out how I was going to do it. So, but anyway, for me, this worked out great. And then I wired it in existing um, flex wiring crap I have here for the, that I did for the camera. Eventually I'll post that install. Um, and, you know, ran it all up through here, tidied all that up um, to the wire, the flex that goes across the other side as well. So all that is nice and clean. Um, ready to go. Ride Moab. All right, y'all know the drill. Like, subscribe, tell all your friends. Thanks, guys.